Hello, and welcome back to Road Trippia. Today's episode is number 377. The category is now officially my least favorite category. It is serial killers. After researching and doing some of these questions, I uh, decided I will probably never do a serial killers category again. So if you like that kind of stuff, I hope you enjoy this one because this will be the last 20 questions. Good luck. Question one. When researching serial killers, criminologists often describe an offender's pattern as their M.O. What Latin term does M.O. stand for? The answer is modus operandi. Question 2. The same state where he killed all but one of his known victims. In what U.S. state was Jeffrey Dahmer born? The answer is Wisconsin. Question 3. Ted Bundy was enrolled at both the University of Puget Sound and took classes at the University of Utah studying what? The answer is law. Question 4. Also active in his local community as a Democratic Party precinct captain and building contractor, what 1970s serial killer often performed at children's hospitals and charitable events as Pogo the Clown? The answer is John Wayne Gacy. Question 5. Although the plot is largely fictional, the character Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was largely inspired by what serial killer? The answer is Ed Gein. Question 6. Although he was called the Measuring Man and the Green Man, Albert Salvo was more popularly known by what nickname given to him by the papers for his specific crimes in Massachusetts? He was called the Boston Strangler. Question 7. Executed on May 7, 1896, who was known as the first American serial killer and was infamous for his murder castle? The answer is Herman Webster Mudgett or H. H. Holmes. Question 8. By what nickname was the unidentified serial killer known as who was active in the largely impoverished areas in and around the Whitechapel District of London in 1888? The answer is Jack the Ripper. Question 9. 
the shocking and grisly murders of actress Sharon Tate and four other people by followers of what cult leader occurred on the night of August 8th, 1969 in Los Angeles. The answer is Charles Manson. Question 10. The film Monster, starring Charlize Theron, was inspired by what infamous female street prostitute and serial killer who murdered seven of her male clients between 1989 and 1990? The answer is Eileen Warno. Question 11. William George Hirons was an American who confessed to three murders in 1946. What nickname did he get from the media after his notorious message scrawled at a crime scene? He was called the Lipstick Killer. This music is too happy for this subject. Question 12. Serial killer Gary Leon Ridgway murdered at least 49 women in Washington State before he was caught in 2001. Given to him because of the location of his first few victims, what was his serial killer persona? He was called the Green River Killer. Question 13. Bedwetting, arson, and animal cruelty are early traits that most serial killers possess. Collectively, what two-word term are these three red flags known by? They call that the McDonald Triad. Question 14. By which name were the serial killers Kenneth Bianchi and Angelo Buono known before their identities were discovered by police in 1978? At the time, they thought it was just one person, and they called him the Hillside Strangler. Question 15. Which serial killer was the inspiration for the murderous character Scorpio in the 1971 film Dirty Harry? The answer is the Zodiac Killer. Question 16. Which serial killer was known as the Dusseldorf Vampire because he drank the blood of at least one of his victims? The answer is Peter Curtin. Question 17. Known as the Houston Mass Murders, Dean Arnold Coral murdered at least 28 young men between 1970 and 1973. What serial killer persona did the papers give him due to his former job? They called him the Candyman Killer. Question 18. David Richard Berkowitz 
Christened by the media at the time as the 44 caliber killer due to the weapon he used, is now more commonly known by what serial killer persona? Once he was arrested, he told the police he wanted to be known as the Son of Sam. Question 19. Convicted of murdering 15 people, but is thought to have killed closer to 250 between 1970 and 1998, what British doctor injected his victims with a lethal dose of the painkiller diamorphine? His name was Harold Shipman, and they called him Dr. Death. Question 20. Murdering 10 people, including men, women, and children, between 1974 and 1991 in the Wichita, Kansas area, Dennis Rader is more commonly known by what serial killer persona? The answer is BTK. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching this episode of Road Trivia. This was a, an audience request, and I appreciate audience requests, so I went ahead and did it. But I gotta tell you, looking up the questions for a category like serial killers was not very fun. Um, so I will not be doing a serial killers category again. If you have a suggestion of a happier category that you'd like to have 20 questions done on, you can leave me a comment in the messages below or message in the comments below. Or you can email me at roadtrippia at gmail.com. Roadtrippia, all one word, lowercase, nothing special, roadtrippia at gmail.com. Uh, you can suggest a category there in the comments below. Think of something a little happier than serial killers. Tomorrow will be a brainy Tuesday. That's a general knowledge pub quiz, so it'll be 20 questions from all over the place. Those are pretty popular. People seem to like them, and I promise no serial killer or death questions will be asked tomorrow. So check back then for the next quiz, and thank you for watching. Have a good day.